<laughs> First there were bikes and now there's the dockless craze. Uh, it's getting bigger in DC. Now we're talking about a scooter. Evan Kozlov actually took these scooters for a ride. So they're called Waybots and just like all these other dockless technologies, it uses an app. This is the Waybots app, and as you can see, it uses GPS to show you where the closest dockless scooters are. They're signified by those little yellow markers right there. Looks like they're in foggy bottom, so uh, let's go. Traffic in foggy bottom. Who would have thought? There it is, right there on the left. You see it? Found it. So we found one of them right over here by 24th and G Street. It looks like the first thing I need to do is snap a photo of that QR code, which I'm gonna do right now. From there, you just flip up the kickstand and go. So let's get some statistics on this bad boy. It could go 20 miles without needing a charge, and it could go up to 15 miles per hour, believe it or not. I'm not going that fast because I don't have a helmet. So here's another question that you might have. How much does this all cost? Well, for the first minute, you're paying $1 up front. After that, 15 cents per minute. So let's make this thing quick. As for safety, well, the brakes work and you're not going that fast. So as long as you consider this a vehicle and not a toy, you should be fine. So there you go, the city's newest dockless vehicle. How long until this one ends up in the middle of a pond? Enjoying that I'm getting paid to do this. Evan Kozlov, WUSA 9. All right, nice job, Evan, fitting under our Get Up DC budget of $1.50 for that whole ride. There aren't many of those scooters yet. The company tells us they are testing a small number to make sure they work first and hope to grow from there. And we should send a warning from Get Up DC to the company. Dockless bikes in DC get the absolute worst respect. They're treated like garbage. So don't be surprised to see your scooters knocked over on metro trains and my favorite over a frozen body of water. That that's just a massive that should be in the National Portrait Gallery right there. <laughs>